Yes, ma'am, Miss Jasmine. Of course. What? That's my foot. The foot. That's my foot, my toes. Daddy's getting his socks on so we can go see Daddy's dad. So, you like your outfit, Jazz? You're in all gray, looking cute. Well, purple shoes, so not all gray. Those are scissors, no touchy. Mommy needs socks. You wanna get Mommy some socks? <laughs> you love your daddy? Yes, we're gonna go see Pop Pop. Pop Pop's making mac and cheese. His special mac and cheese. Yes. We gotta open up the gifts. What's it say? Love me, Mom, Chris. Me, Mom made us some grilled cheeses yesterday. <laughs> Jasmine, you ready to eat? Eat. Say thank you, Pop Pop. Good job, good girl. Yummy, yummy. Woo. Hanging out at Nick's dad's house. They went out to go smoke a cigarette and I cannot join the party. I don't smoke cigarettes anyway, but like I can't even hang out there and just chill. I am full of mac and cheese. I told Nick's dad that I needed some mac and cheese. The twins were craving it. And he's like, yeah, I'll make my mac and cheese like three or four times a year. But since I've been pregnant, I've asked him to make it for me twice. So <laughs> I'm already like exhausting the amount of times I can have the mac and cheese this year. But I am a walking special occasion. He says he only makes it on special occasions. I am a special occasion. Mm -hmm. I got to pee right now. I've been taking Jasmine to go pee with me, but she's out there with the boys. So they're going to just enjoy the Jasmine time. We all had some mac and cheese Nick shared with Jasmine. I had my own. Mike had his own, but they all finished before me. I forgot I stirred it whole. Hmm. Nick running me a bath. I just got home from dropping Jasmine off at my parents and he, yeah, he got me a bath. He's so sweet. Mm. Yay. So I just got out of my lover's bath. He ran me a bath, guys, first time in four years. It was so cute. Um, it's because I texted him while I was on the way home from my parents' house after dropping Jasmine off, and he was like, well, I'm going to try to get her at the right time. Because usually I say I'm on my way, and then I say I'm on my way again in 10 minutes, and then 20 minutes later I say, okay, now I'm really on my way. And then I leave after that 10 minutes later, and then I say, okay, I'm on the road now. So he's like never sure <laughs> when I get home. But <clears throat> the house is a little bit of a mess. The garage needs to be tidied. The dishes were done while I was gone, thankfully, and um, the living room has kind of like random stuff in it, but, <clears throat> and Jasmine's bookshelf fell off the wall, so we need to put that back up, but we, I dropped her off at my mom so we could get all this stuff done and take a nap if needed, so we're just gonna relax, um, Nick and I's anniversary is in less than a month at this point, it's on March 10th, and we're still kind of going back and forth about what we're gonna do and when, so maybe we'll be able to go out on our direct anniversary, but I'm not sure. So we'll have to figure it out as we go. I told him we could go out today for our anniversary, but he's like, I'm chilling, I'm relaxing, I'm cooling, I'm vibing. So I don't want to ruin his vibe. So I'm going to just watch TV, cash these baby shower checks, and, you know, hopefully have a, have a good day so far. I'm still looking forward. What are you about to do, sir? Can I check? <sighs> no, nah, I'm about to, uh... Just get dressed so that we can go to this Utah Roadhouse. With my sister Roadhouse. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to Texas Roadhouse. What are you about to wear? About to wear this. See my. Guns are gunning. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you got, we were going to the gun show too, huh? Facts. 
Well, in other news, Jasmine is at my mom's house. She slept over there for the first time in like a year. Jasmine's about to be three and she hasn't slept over since she was under two years old. And it's good because my mom needs to get used to having her sleep over so that, you know, on weekends she can go over there and spend the weekend while we deal with the twins. Because Jasmine's going to preschool in August, so... You know, it's it's just a matter of when I give birth in a couple of months, two and a half months, three months, my mom might need to keep Jasmine overnight because I'm going to be in the hospital for a couple of days. Um, with a regular standard singleton birth, it's like two, three days in the hospital max, especially if there's no complications. But with the, twin special, with the twins special birth, I'll be delivering in an OR just in case I need an emergency C-section. Um, I could develop, you know, high blood pressure or preeclampsia or... Just many other crazy things that happens when you're pregnant with twins. Even though I have the lowest high-risk pregnancy when it comes to twins, it's still a possibility. So at this point, we don't know how it's going to be. My mom's neighbor, Miss Sarah, who watched me when I was a kid, also volunteered to help when I go into labor. So like, if my mom watches Jazz overnight, like one day to another day, and then Miss Sarah could take her the evening of that second day, you know what I'm saying, and do another overnight if needed or whatever. But we need to make arrangements for Jasmine. And my mom said she'll just take time off from work and just take her as long as she needs to. But I don't want to put all that stress and pressure on her if she needs to, like, actually get stuff done. Because my mom's, like, the head of her company or whatever. So, um, we'll figure it out. Everybody says they have our back and everything's going to be fine. Um, but at this point, Nick and I are going on a date. It's about to be noon, about to be brunch time. So, we're going to Texas Roadhouse to get some Nick wants steak. I want a shish kebab. And whatever all sides they have, Nick wants to try their rattlesnake bites and we he said he wants to get a beer we haven't been out on a date i don't want to say in a while but we rarely go out on dates so i'm just trying to like enjoy our time before um you know before the twins get here because once the twins are here we're literally not going to have any alone time or anything like that because we will have to assign three different guardians to watch each baby at that point and it's like that's too much work so we might as well just watch them ourselves <sighs> Anyways, my best friend just bought a bar. She um went partnering with her coworkers and bought a bar or whatever. And, um you know, she might offer Nick a job to be a bouncer there. And it's like 30 minutes away from our house. So that'd be interesting if he worked, you know, full time as a bouncer, which would just hopefully be on the weekends. And then he would be with me weekdays to take care of the babies. But right now, our guilty pleasure show is The Bachelor we're watching the newest season of The Bachelor. We've never watched any seasons prior. Oh, it's season 28. For those of you wondering, this main character guy is so boring. He's too polite. He's nice to all the girls. And it's like, we all know you only want to bang one or two of these chicks. So you might as well just be honest. He's being super nice to all the girls. And it's really annoying. Like, he'll be like super nice, lovey-dovey with them and then send them home. And I'm like, you treat all these girls the same. Like, how is anybody to know if they're going home or not? But this is his second time on the freaking show. But anyways, I don't care. This show is cool. I wouldn't say it's great. There's too much kissing in my opinion. I feel like you should save kisses for... I literally think they're about to kiss right now. <laughs> oh my god, did y'all see how close they got? Anyways, um, yeah, I called my mom this morning. So I asked her how Jasmine slept. She said Jasmine slept fine. She uh, slept through the night. Uh, only peed through her diaper twice just because she was peeing faster than my mom was anticipating. I was there one of the times she peed through her diaper because it was a drop off. But everything's good. I'm 24 weeks today. So, uh, 24 week day. Ooh. I know, I'm going to have to take a picture for you. Yeah, I haven't been doing my bump dates. Oopsies. We'll see though. So, I am getting more and more pregnant as the day goes on. I told you, Pickles, I'm 24 weeks. I just turned 24 weeks. Nick is going to show you on my bump real quick. Just hold it like this. Facing me. Um, I have twin girlies in me right now. We're going out to eat uh, on a date. And my daughter is away from the house right now. We need to clean up when we get back. But it's all good. I put the in the trunk. I, know, no. I was about to say, I don't know if it'll fit in the trunk. It probably will if I move something. Because I have Jasmine's to go bag in the trunk, so <laughs> I wouldn't want to put it in the front because she would mess with it, you know? Yeah. Close the door. Um, It's kind of chilly a little bit. My house. Yeah, they, they see our house all the time. 
think sugar. <laughs> I fell on your shoe. <laughs> so, Pickles, I was going to the bathroom right after I updated y'all on how far I am in my pregnancy and everything, and my mucus plug came out. Now, you can have multiple mucus plugs during pregnancy. They regenerate, and I think this is the second one I've lost. The first time I lost one, I wasn't sure what it was. I have seen a mucus plug before, but, like, it didn't... It could have been discharge. It could have been nick fluid. It could have been anything. So, I was like, I don't know if that was... But this one was for sure a mucus plug. I saw it clear as day. Um, I have my next doctor's appointment on the 27th where I'm going to go see the twin specialist. And they're just going to check me, get the ultrasound, make sure everything's good. And then on the 7th or the 8th, I actually have my glucose test, which is where I drink a sugary drink and they check my sugar levels, basically make sure everything's good. So we are off right now, heading out. And um, yeah, it's very nice. Like I, I don't like eating out much and spending like money crazy like this because we could just go to the store and grab some stuff that we like. But I feel like we just deserve a date and some alone time and just some intimate time. You know what I'm saying? Where we're just sitting across from each other because when we're at home, you still have to clean up your food that you made. You know, not everything's guaranteed to taste like super delicious. Like I'm not saying neither either of us are bad cooks, but like, you know, you can mess stuff up because you're micromanaging everything. You have to do the labor of cooking everything. So it's just nice that we're gonna spoil ourselves right now. We have a gift card from when we um, had our baby shower. So it's a $50 visa, can be spent on anything. And I might use it if the bill is under $50, but if it's over $50, I'll probably just use my card. Um, it's supposed to be for baby stuff, but <laughs> I have the babies in me, so this is technically baby stuff. Um, anyways, I gotta get out of here. Nick's probably want to play music, but I'll keep you pickles posted. My next appointment is in literally nine days, um, and then my next next appointment is in like 14 or no, like 20 days or so. So we'll figure it out. I did just pee, but I gotta pee again. Oh. We are back home, got our food. Yeah, you are. And I just mowed this grass, but it's all good. It's just time to get inside and relax. My daughter is still at my mom's house, but my mom went and picked up her cousin. So now both of them are chilling at my mom's house, having a good time, being cute babies together. Big ice in there, so you have to throw it in the fridge. Park on the outskirts. This is barely the outskirts. Just parking this parking lot. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Right here. Well, it might be super packed in there, but we're gonna find out. If it's too packed, we'll go to like a neighboring restaurant. But I'm ready to eat. Yeah. Eat, eat. I had cereal for breakfast, um, but the cereal is not super sustainable. This is like hearty brunch. This guy's pulling in, so I gotta wait. Um, but yeah, I'm. I lost my mucus plug this morning, Nick and I believe, and I'm just doing a bunch of research. And it says you can go into labor days after losing your mucus plug, or weeks, or hours. And um, I read for twin pregnancies or whatever, some ladies have lost their mucus plug and given a month, given birth exactly a month later. When I was pregnant with Jasmine, I lost my mucus plug and I think I gave birth to her like a week later, maybe two weeks. But I remember it being like mucus plug, labor. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of nervous. I'm only 24 weeks. If I go into labor in a month, I'm just hitting like 28, 29 weeks, not even 30 weeks. So that means they'll probably hospitalize me to try to keep me pregnant. But this could all just be a false alarm and I could regenerate my mucus bug, no big deal. And that could have been but I'm partial too. It yeah, it could have just been partial, but it, it looked really big. That's for me, it looked really big. So I'm just gonna be keeping a lookout and I'm doing a lot of research right now to find out what's what. I don't know. Oh. Oh? I said, oh, you didn't throw the camera in my face while I'm hitting the phone. You don't go to Bubba's. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we walked into Texas uh, Roadhouse and it's packed. Like there's people standing outside, everywhere is freaking seated. And then at the front where you like check in or whatever, or try to get a seat, there's people to the door. So we just left. We're like, we gotta find something else. 
there's this place right next to it called Perry's Pizzeria and Tap House. Um, there's Longhorn Cafe, um, Swim School, which I don't know why I said that, that's not relevant. But we're trying to find somewhere else to eat. Um, at least we know that, you know, they have a good reputation at least or whatever, because dang, that was crazy. Nick and I agreed we'll come back like a weekday because it's Sunday and that's probably why it's super packed. People got, people got time on their hands. Everybody and their mama was at Texas Roadhouse, it was crazy. Um, we're just looking, seeing if there's anything good in this strip. Very weird. Yeah. Well, uh, we just passed a place called like SW. What's it called? Something works. St Stone Stoneworks. Stoneworks, and we've never heard of it before. Uh, it's a grill though, so we're gonna check it out. Um, Any thing with grill in it, you know, you can assume there's steak. And that's what Nick wants. He wants steak. And um, I. I mean, I'll. I'll well, you'll look at the menu and decide from there. Yeah, and there were some good looking burgers on their menu or whatever, but we just glanced at their website real quick and um, we're gonna go inside and look at their menu. They're not nearly as packed, like it's pretty much dead over here compared to Longhorn, so it's kind of funny. But we're gonna figure it out and see if it's a good spot, see if it's the new spot. Um, it doesn't really look like an eating establishment. It looks like where you get your tires fixed on the outside. So we'll see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you put this card in the wallet? Uh -huh. If we spend less than $50, I can use that gift card. If we spend more, then I'm gonna just use my regular card. But my regular card gets me my rewards. My regular card gets me my rewards. <laughs> this is why I talk mess to him every day. He's mean. It's your rewards points. Okay. I don't need all that. Bully. We'll see, we'll see. See how it says stoneworks and it kind of looks like... Gears. Gears, yeah. It looks like where you get your tires fixed. Like, they need to update their marketing strategy. Oh, they're brand new? We could eat out here. I'm just kidding. It's chilly. Yeah, nobody's out there. Nobody's out there. That's why we should. Uh, it's not like TLC's got to move the camera, right? Yeah. Don't you slap in the menu down, ready to eat. So I assume lunch is on you? Yeah, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that. Keep that. <laughs> Hater. It makes your drink look fancy. Oh, like a full of jasmine. Oh my god. What did you order? You ordered it. What, did, what are you eating? A burger and some mushrooms. What's your beer? What are you drinking? Oh, it's like a pineapple with an ale. It should be a Alamo Golden Ale with a Austin East Cider pineapple. I'm almost out. Shocker. We got some fried mushrooms, psych deep fried mushrooms. And then we got our egg rolls, steak rolls. She said there were four cut up, but these are just two cut no, up in the four. She said, she said there's two cut up in the four. Yeah, she said they were really good though. So we will see. Cheers. Are you doing spicy or sweet? I'll try the spicy for a second. This one. them mixing the carrots in with the cheese. Mm-hmm. Trying to be slick. I mean, we could always just take royalty to our house. That's true.
but we could also go home after this food and immediately take a nap. Do I keep the stick in it or no? Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm ready to blow this. Yeah. We can come back here for our anniversary. Okay. Ask for Francesca. Francesca, that's her, that was her name? Yeah. I thought her name was Francis. You <laughs> I don't know anymore. Bruh, you, I'm pretty sure she never said her name was Francis and then you said We can go Francesca back in and, and resolve like, this right now. I'm like, you are- I'm just gonna say Fran. You are dead naming <laughs> this, you are dead naming this person. We are back home, Pickles. Nick said he had a good time. I had a good time. And we are uh, waiting our daughter to come back home, but we're probably gonna grab a nap, finish watching the last episode that's out of The Bachelor. There's episode five that we need to finish, see who the mean girls really are, and then we will be chilling. Jasmine is hanging out with her cousin at my mom's house and they're having a good time. I hope I tried to call to check in. My phone is about to die and I barely had service. So I guess I'll check in later. See you pickles on the flip. I'm supposed to go live tonight. So I'll see y'all then.